Er det har fallt rot i en tärsja. Jag tog om tack och jag tog om bilder att du kör en allah och jag very much support this bill, Minister. I think it's a it's a positive, very positive direction. Uh, there are a couple of things that we mentioned already by colleagues of mine that I think are really important, and I hope you and uh, uh, your team take them on board. Uh, one of them is an election in relation to the collection process. It has been mentioned before that it should be, I think, or it could be a good idea if that was centralised, and if the administration of it was carried out by the local council and the rate set by the local council, but that the the process of collection uh, could be probably more complete, uh, get a greater percentage of collection if it is centralised. And uh, I know a number of services uh, provided by local councils are centralised already, so it shouldn't be too hard, I don't think, hopefully, to do that. Uh, another uh, factor is the 2001 Valuation Amendment Act. There are still parts of that, I think, that needs to be executed. And I think that needs to be looked at. I know that's referred to in this uh, draft bill and legislation that there are some amendments to some parts of that. Uh, also, in relation to that, just reading through the bill here, uh, parts of it I think are very interesting and very important. Let me say at the outset that, in my experience in speaking to IBEC, uh, Small Firms Association, ISME, and others in relation to this bill, uh, uh, their SMEs are very supportive of. Uh, this bill in general, and they're supporting and paying their rates. They don't have a problem with that. What they do have a problem with, as Senator Coffey mentioned uh, very well earlier, is that they cannot have an issue if some people are paying the rates and others are not. That's a big issue. Another uh, point raised by Senator Coffey as well is the transparency of the whole situation. In other words, how are the rates calculated? What's the difference between one and another? So that transparency is critically important. And also, uh, IBEC have pushed forward the idea. Sorry, excuse me. Um, IBEC have also uh, moved the idea or notion, which I think is a good one, is that there should be reasonably significant corroboration uh, in relation to the setting of rates and the business community who are paying the rates. Um, last year, local businesses' rates uh, received amounted to 1.55 billion euros, which is roughly 34% of total local government budgets altogether. Now, that changes significantly from one area to another. For example, in Donegal, it's much more important. And if you look at Donegal and the SME report that was done, uh, done by me and others in, in, in the Shannon, you'll see that tourism is really important to Donegal, for example. Same thing in Kerry. It's not that relevant for SMEs in Dublin. So we need to, I believe, take those factors into consideration. So if there is a recession on tourism, then, for example, places like Donegal are far, far greater hit. Um, I also, uh, my sense, Senator Humphreys, is what Senator Coffey was talking about was not the divide between urban and rural. He was talking about something quite different. He was talking about particular businesses, be they urban or be they rural. That was my interpretation of it. And uh, I believe there are challenges both urban and rural, but this rates thing. I think it's an overall collective, quite frankly. I think it's got to do with, uh, it transcends urban and rural. It's got to do with paying uh, a rates tax. Also, business people want to know what's happening to the money they're paying. Right now, we don't know what's happening to it. It appears to me, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, because I may be, but it appears to me that what's happening is that a local council looks at what's our expenditure for the year, What's the revenue to date that we can expect to get for the year? And the balance is in rates. Now, if that's the situation, we need to look at changing that. Now, I say I, I could be wrong, but that's my understanding of it. Overall, in relation to local councils, as everybody has said, we do need to have a good, strong, solid debate on that. And we need to actually understand, I believe, that local councils have more authority, more control over their local area. They're the people who know it well. But I do think we need to have a full and frank debate in relation to the, the future of local authorities. And quite frankly, personally, I know there's elections there recently, but uh, local councillors get in the region of 15,000, 16,000 a year. My good God, for the work they put in, I think they deserve a lot more. Thanks very much indeed.